You are watching New Car Spin. I'm your host, Brian Grant, and this is the Nissan Murano. Uh, of course, this is not just any Murano. This is the fully loaded version. It has all-wheel drive. You'll see it has semi-aniline leather, heated and vented seats. We have nice piping here and contrast stitching. Very well detailed. And you'll see the nice wood trim that goes through here. And hey there. So... This is actually not the first time I've driven a Murano this year. I drove one for two weeks when I was in Washington State, and I wasn't that impressed with it because it has a CVT. It does have a V6 engine, but the CVT, just like in the Maxima, definitely creates a problem personally for me. So if you like Nissans, and who doesn't, um, I think that what they're doing here is they're providing you a vehicle that has a lower price point but more features. For instance, I have a panoramic roof and it's a real panoramic roof. It extends to the whole length of the cabin over the passengers. I have the quilted leather so it looks very good in here. The seats are fairly comfortable. It's not, it's not that bad for a vehicle that you're going to drive on a daily basis. I have a Bose stereo. I have all-wheel drive. There's just so many features in here, and it is at a price where it's pretty competitive. Although, let's see if I can pull up this paperwork. Uh, it's not competitive enough compared to the really new players. Let's get this proper window sticker for you. There we are. So, um, recently I drove the Acura RDX, and that thing was a solid, solid purchase. That thing was awesome. And it came in at like 47,000. It had a 10 speed automatic. It had all wheel drive. It had a four cylinder turbo. And it just, it was like a Civic Type R SUV. This is none of that. This Murano is basically like a, a Maxima SUV. And it comes in at $46,420. See if I can get the camera to focus. Hello. Well, believe me, it says it if my camera wants to focus. Camera, focus. Oh, this is crazy. Come on. Well, this is really annoying then, isn't it? Focus. We almost had it. There we go. Anyway, look at the fuel economy. 20 city, 28 highway, 23 combined. As far as the options, this thing doesn't really have anything. It's fully loaded. Uh, the only option actually is the cargo mat. So we're in the platinum version. It's the highest level trim. And yeah, it looks great. But it has some faults. It's a little bit dated inside. And the steering is really heavy. But in the end, what you get is a vehicle with Pro Pilot Assist. You have all the features that you're getting in most of the new vehicles. It just has somewhat of a dated look inside. On the outside, however, let's see if I can unlock this. Oh, it's kind of windy out, so pardon the uh, microphone. It's a pretty cool color. It is brown. It's a reddish kind of brown. Looks good. And it may be for some, may not be for others. But it has a good uh, silhouette. It has a cool... Uh, almost a D-pillar at this point. I like the design of it because it's it's edgy. It's not like your typical SUV. Kind of looks like an Infiniti. Of course, they are the same family. And I do love the bright work or the chrome trim that goes below the bumper. It's hard to see these days. And then the, the grill actually looks like something off of an older Armada. It makes it look bigger than it really is. The problem is this thing is really heavy. If you compare it to the newer vehicles, they feel much lighter, feel much more sportier, feel much more nimbler. But what you're not going to get is a higher roof line in the back. So what this gets you is an ability to get in and out without losing any headroom. So ingress and egress of the back seat is very easy. And this is where the Murano shines because we have heated seats, we have USB, C, and B. We have air vents and, of course, the uh, panel roof, which I showed you earlier. The, uh, let's see if I can find it. Uh, 
controls for these back seats. There they are. So we do have a way, if I can find it, there we go, to recline the back seat. This is the most reclining back seat I have ever been in with the exception of like captain's chairs. And you can tell the difference right here, just looking. Uh, there's a massive gap here. That's how much the seat reclines. So, you know, it is, it is a very nice car in that respect. But when you consider what you can get on the sportier side from Acura, um, which is basically a Highline version of a Honda, but there's no Honda like it right now. What, what I'm basically saying is this is almost a better deal than the Infiniti Q x60 and it's not really a qx50 this feels much heavier much more solid and probably a better buy overall so that's the best advice i can give you here is if you're looking at a nissan murano they're not new they have added a lot of features the quilted leather is semi aniline bose stereo pro pilot assist all the latest features and um, enough room to do this in a, in a basically a, an SUV that is proper. It doesn't have three rows. It's not trying to be, but look at the trunk space in here. So it is a great way to travel. And I would say if you, if you have a, a small family and your name is Wayne, this is an acceptable vehicle. If you are not in the need for an SUV, I think that if, if you were to look at the loaded Nissan Murano and you just needed something new, I would say skip right past this and, and get the Acura RDX. It's hip, it's hot, it's cool, and it's fast. This is more of a luxury traditional family style and it's it's sort of, uh, an, I don't want to call it antiquated, but it's definitely an older traditional setup and that's good for some people, but for someone who doesn't have a family, it, it's probably a little overkill. So that's what I would say, that Murano is overkill on the luxury side. And that's a good thing, it's not a bad thing at all. The only problem I really have with this is that it has a CVT and the V6 is not as powerful as most of the new Turbo 4s. So that's it. Nissan Murano, great vehicle overall. Just kinda like, personally it's, it's bland um, in the sense of the way the driving experience is. All-wheel drive is planted, but I wish it had more more power. I wish it had more speed. I wish it was a little bit more on the sportier side, something you'd expect a Nissan to do. Uh, the, the Acura, though, top-notch, and we're talking a $500 difference, and that's a big deal these days. Um, I wouldn't recommend the Murano for someone who doesn't have a family. That's pretty much it. So... Um, I hope you all have a great 4th of July, and I'm going to turn this car in now uh, to Nissan. I appreciate them letting me drive it for the week, and uh, I don't get paid by manufacturers to drive vehicles. I've been getting a lot lately, and I really, I only really get uh, the benefit of your support. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking and sharing my videos. Please leave a comment. I read all my comments. Nissan will read the comments on this as well. And uh, yeah. We just keep driving cars, more stuff to do. This is a pretty good car. I'm not gonna knock it. The MDX is worse. Acura MDX is terrible compared to this. Uh, and costs like $9,000 more, and that doesn't make any sense. But I'll keep this video right there. I'll keep it short, keep it sweet. Murano, it's in the it's in the middle, you know, as far as good and bad. It's it's a little dated, not perfect. I like it. It's not, it's not the Acura RDX though. That's the way to go. Um, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.